We have some issues with wildlife. Um, we have some deer coming in, which we don't find to be too much of a problem, but we also have a, a small herd of elk here that are grazing on our bales. We try to have a ranch that is very diverse in its species, and so we have a lot of um, bird and, and, um, and large mammal species here, and so anything that we can do so that they can work with us um, is beneficial to everyone. This year it has been kind of a, an accident, uh, accidental experiment I guess you'd call it. We have some bales in a separate cell that were set out um, for springtime and the elk have picked those bales as their, their designated bales for the winter and so right now we're finding that that's not a bad thing because they're staying away from the main herd of cows and away from our fences um, because our, our primary worry is that they're going to take our fences down and let our cows out. So if we can set up our bale grazing a little bit different so that the elk don't interfere with us, it's uh, in everybody's best interest. Yeah, wildlife can be a real pain. Uh, we have, uh, especially since we started using the brassicas, the deer have really started to come in. Uh, but uh, it's just a part of the game. You know, the wildlife will, will go into those uh, bunches and swath grazing some, but it, it won't affect it that much. They'll take a little bit. We don't have, you know, huge herds of, of elk moving in and, and wiping us out in, in this area. So, so it's, it's very little and we can share a bit with the, with the deer. It, it's just fine with us. The, the wildlife damage that we had mostly was, was the deer. Um, we had a large population of deer in the area and they would come in in the fall or in the early winter prior to, to the swath grazing and uh, stir up the swaths, crust it over and make it uh, hard for the cattle to get into. We also had a problem with the geese in the fall. We found that with the millet it, uh, it solved that issue. We also found that the grasshoppers didn't like the millet. The plant is very hairy. It has a waxy texture that wasn't desirable for them and they, uh, they didn't bother it. Wildlife hasn't been an issue for us with um, swath grazing or the corn. Uh, because of our ewes, we have um, ample guardian dogs and the deer just do not pose a problem anymore. The guardian dogs have just pushed, pushed everything back. We really don't have any trouble with wildlife in this system. The, o the only thing that causes a bit of a problem is if we're winter grazing the bush pasture there is quite a bit of deer movement in there and that really precludes us from cross fencing the bush pasture which we would like to do because the, if you give them too big an area the, the trail around and the, they'll trample a lot of snow down which will then freeze. Uh, the deep snow years when we had four feet of snow some deer moved in to our swath grazing but generally as a rule they commingle with us. Um, the other morning I went out and I counted 13 coyotes coming out of my cows and they're traveling through in the morning, but I have not lost a calf to the coyotes. They seem to be okay, the cows are, are protective. Um, there's enough mice and gophers, I guess. Um, the only other problem we sometimes run into is the odd moose will run through here and tear some fence out. Other than that, no major wildlife problems.